guys, we are back in the learn the command prop section. Uh, we're starting viewing and changing the file system manipulation. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So let's see, um, just a quick reminder, ls will tell us what's in our current directory. And let's see what the difference is here. We have ls-a. Preferences, dot dot, preferences, action, column, drama. So we'll probably tell us the next screen what the difference is. LS commands all the file. Minus A modifies the behavior of the LS to list the files and directories starting with a dot. Files that are hidden don't appear using LS alone. Okay, so it looks like there's hidden files using the dot in front of them. Uh, the dash A is called an option. Option modify the behavior of commands. Okay, so it looks like there's an ls-l, and there we go. Uh, this tells us, back in my uh, FTP slash MySQL days, I, I don't remember everything, but some this basically tells us what we can do with each file, I believe, and it'll, t it'll go into details here. So, the dash l lists files and directories as a table with seven columns separated by spaces and you can read through all that if you want um, you probably won't use it more than once you'll probably look it up if you need to um, for me I had to change certain parameters when I FTP stuff up so that it would work properly um, through the command line anyhow so let's try out another option for the ls navigate to ls comedy Oops. C. Uh, com. C. Comedy. All right. So we're gonna change the directory to comedy, and then we're gonna type ls dash alt. And I'm not sure. We'll see what's going on here. So. Uh, Right, so dash alt lists all content in long format, including the ones that are hidden. So let's let's move on to copying and moving and removing files from the directory. So we want to change the directory to drama slash biopic slash. Uh, next we want to cp. Uh, I believe this is uh, copy. Yeah, if I remember correctly, text and then space. Link, uh, Lincoln.txt. Cannot stat right in a such file. Oh, I put text. Alright, so cp frida.txt and Lincoln.txt. Alright, let's see what this does next. So CP copies files or directories, and here we copied Friday or Frida into TX into Lincoln. So we copied the first file into the second file. There are a few more ways to use CP, so let's uh, change directory to drama. And then in here we want CP biopic slash Cleopatra.txt. And we, it looks like we're going to put this in historical. So cannot regular file. Can I create a regular file? Historical. Alright. So CP bio fit slash leo txt space historical. Alright, navigate the, to the historical directory, list all files and directories. Should see a new file. So ls, I believe, should list everything. Uh, ls dash alt. Uh, let's see here. Navigate to the historical directory. Alright, change directory to historical. There we go. And here's one more ACP, so we want CP 
Now we get up one directory. So we want to change directory to drama. And then there's no so let's see what directories there are. CD drama. I believe this takes us back a directory. So we want to go back one with the CD dot dot. And then we want to try the uh, copying biopic slash array dot txt biopic slash notorious maybe notorious big uh, dot txt historical nice um, let's see what this last command does so copy a file into the directory copy multiple files okay so basically we copied multiple files the first two files into the final file we copied Ray and Notorious into the historical directory All right, so I change directory to comedy slash uh, in this directory create a file named Shrek text uh, I don't remember what the direct was. So let's see here. Uh, sorry about the uh, breakup in the video here. I have to turn my car alarm off. My motorcycle set it off. Uh, but anyhow, so we want to change the directory to comedy slash. And then we want to create a new file t in this directory. I believe this should be a touch rec.txt. And that creates it. Then we want to type cp star satire slash, and this should get everything. Or no, it should emit everything. There we go. So we're emitting satire. Looks like navigate the satire, list all files. So we want to say L ls uh, ls dash all. No, uh, ls dash a. Now we get to the set. Oh, change directory satire. Here's another way to use the CP. So, action. So, we want to CD action. So, you see right now we're just oops, CD action. Where's our, where's our action? So, CD dot dot. Let's see what we got here. CD dot dot. Uh, what is this? Uh, there's our action. So now we can uh, CD to action. Oh, yeah. So uh, we actually did what they didn't want us to do. I guess uh, so slash slash dot dot slash action slash. So that will take us to the action. We're just typing it in to satisfy what they want. Uh, we did a, a worse way of doing it. Um, and now we want to, let's see, cpm star dot txt sci fi slash. And change directories into sci fi. So we want to list all files in directory in the, work, in the working directory. So let's see here. LS. So here's our sci fi. You should see a copy of all files starting with. Alright, so we want to see the into sci fi. Alright, and let's see what's going on in the next example here. So CP star satire, these are called wildcards, selects everything in the working directory. Um, and then M star selects everything that ends in TXT uh, but starts with M. So, in addition to copy files, we move files from the command line. So, let's change to the action. Let's see where we're at. Alright, so we want CD to action. Uh, we want to type M V Superman.txt space super. Hero slash uh, navigate the superheroes. So CD to 
this over here. And here's another way to use MV. So MV navigate up one directory from action superior to action. Uh, and then MV Wonder Woman dot txt to superhero slash and then let's see here what's going on did we do it wrong wonder woman dot txt oh, I forgot the Batman all right so mv wonder woman dot txt batman dot txt superhero it says there's no such file or directory and here's one more okay so let's see here mv batman dot txt spider man dot txt Try one more time. TXC says there's no such file or directory. All right. The MV command moves files, so this will move Superman to the superhero folder. Cool. So let's change the directory to comedy slash slash six. So um, CD comedy slash so over there, we are going to rm water boy.txt. From here, we're going to list all the files. Now we can see that waterboy is no longer in there, only Zoolander. Now we want to navigate up one directory, so cd dot dot and rm dash r slapstick. Let's see what this does. Now let's list all the directories. So we have Satire, Shrek, The Office. All right, let's see what the RM command does. So the RM command deletes files and directories. The dash R is a modifies the behavior of the RM command. The minus R stands for recursive and is used to delete a directory and all of its child directories. Wow. So uh, if you're doing that, you really are deleting some. Uh, real shit. So it deletes it permanently, and there is no, there isn't an undo delete. So basically, don't fuck around with RM. Is what it's saying here. So we finished our section, second section of the command line. Um, pretty cool stuff. Uh, in our next section, oops. Let's see here. Let's go back and see what we're doing next. Let's view the course overview. So we're already 44% of the way done. And we're doing redirection, which is going to redirect input and output to and from files and programs. So that's what we'll be doing next. And, you know, it might be helpful to make a little sticky note of what the commands do until you memorize them, because you see me forgetting here or there. But uh, if you're going to be trying to use this in, in workplace, just go online and find yourself a nice little cheat sheet. But I'll see you guys in the next video.